Hey Nob here, in this video I'm going to be telling you the 5 really important things that new players actually miss out when they start in Snowbreak Containment Zone. As always, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, like the videos, it helps me out a lot. And I've been playing this, boys, and it has been fantastic. More guides, tips, tier lists in the future to come, so be sure to subscribe to keep updated with that. So anyways, back to the video, 5 most important things. So the first one is when you look at an item, you can find out where to get it by hitting sources. So let's say, for example, uh, I think like operatives like oh man my winter solstice yeah oh I bet my character man I like man I don't need anybody else for now <laughs> but uh for example like say you you're at weapon right and then you go to train and then you're like okay um I need two more of these hydrocarbon plastics where the heck do I get it so it's on the top right of the menu in any material that you can, you can go to your inventory and you're like where can I get this you click this button source and it will actually tell you where to get it and you can actually click and it'll just go to it so reforging flame that is the material farming menu so you can see here it'll just go straight to it uh, or you can actually just go to it right this is normally the menu where you go to fight then you go to operation and then you have to go to in this menu and then you know is right here reforging flames boom so it's a shortcut and it, you can do that for any material you play oh where do I get this there in this game there's a lot of materials and you're like where do I get it so that is how you do it hitting that source in that top right corner will tell you where exactly to get it so number two on the list is the recommended tab is absolutely a lifesaver for new players even for me uh, when you start out like this question really comes out so like what am I talking about now nah, so you go to your character any character that you want say for example I have Yao right here view details you go to view details you see basic info you're like oh all these stats right and then recommend when you click this the game actually tells you what to go for in your build it literally tells you so the top part is kind of like you're easier to get your your uh your four stars right and then the advanced group is like oh man like i want to get space cowboy right i mean i have that obviously and then logistics and these are the logistics that you should go for so it really tells you like this is literally what you should be going for in your builds there's no need to ask anybody oh sh what weapon should i get what logistics should i get a recommended tab will will give you all that information like say you're, you're like you're a finny right be details recommend boom i mean you're like okay which which shotgun should i get from that package that i got mechanized cop that is what it recommends you get that what logistics um and for logistics uh, i'm not gonna go into logistics but it'll tell you what squad to get this is trapadors right so you know what to get for exactly exactly what to get for your uh for your characters and yeah you don't need to like ask what you should build because the recommended tab tells you it literally tells you it is an amazing amazing future and oh man i wish more games did this but yeah recommend a tab definitely use it the third really important thing that new players mess out on is going to be toggling quick ultimate staying in and out for your operatives so when you have a team of uh, characters you can see here like say i have inya for example now this is really important because quick ultimates don't apply to everyone so you're gonna have to check but for inya right here you can see their skills you click their skill and you can see right here quick ultimate stay in and stay out what this means is that when you have a primary character out and you want Want to do your teammates ability like say for example Enya she'll go in do the her ability and then jump back out and you'll switch back out so say for example I have Yao I'll do uh Enya's ultimate ability she'll jump out and it will automatically switch back to Yao and this is crazy good be sure like if you're running like a solo carry like I use like solo Yao right so I'm having two support characters and I'm not really using them and switching them out and and actually using them I don't I'm just using them for support skills and maybe ultimate so doing this and setting up your team is super important to use your to your advantage and uh, like i said it doesn't apply to everyone like for example yao if she doesn't have quick ultimate it doesn't really make sense right so be sure to check but yeah that is something really important to incorporate into your game plan the fourth important thing that new players miss out on is going to be being able to sell in your store so right down here in the main menu archive storage shop if you click storage this is your inventory uh weapons and logistics these are the two tabs that you're looking at so logistics is kind of like think of logistics like your gear okay this is kind of like the gear uh <laughs> function in the game uh so you can actually so you see the bottom left so this is a filter right who cares about that here's a little symbol right here's like a recycle so i like to call it recycling okay so you can see you can sell your your stuff so you can you can filter it you know i want to sell this and it will actually give you back um the material logistics material that you need to level up logistics so this is very nice so p players don't actually know that you can actually do this so be sure to definitely do that in your game plan for weapons you can currently i believe it is bugged there's a sell function i have a bunch of weapons um i believe it's a bug right now so maybe in the future it will change but be just note 
that you can actually uh, sell your weapons as well right now you can only sell uh, upgraded weapons which doesn't really make sense so just be on the lookout in the future but just know that this function exists and as a reminder, whenever you sell it, think of it more like recycling. So like when you recycle these weapons, you actually get the material back for the thing that you recycle. So if you're recycling weapons, you're going to get weapon, uh, you know, XP material. And when you recycle logistics, you're going to get logistics XP material, which is kind of it's kind of weird, right? Usually you get like, you know, the, the 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 gold currency or something, right? So that is interesting. But yeah, definitely recycle the things that you're not going to be using because it will actually give you XP and XP you can actually use towards the things that you actually want to put on your team. The last important thing that new players miss out on is going to be something in game. So I'm going to be hopping into a mission real quick and show you. All right. So we're in a mission right now. So the fifth thing that new players miss out on the last one on this list is going to be the stamina gauge and switching characters to maintain stamina while running. So like I, you have to be in battle. Okay. When you're not in battle, uh, the, the stamina is not taken uh, when you're sprinting around. So say I'm battle right now. Right. So when you run around in battle, right, it's going to run out. It's going to run out and you're like, oh, crap, I am dead. I'm toasted. Guess what? You just switch characters. They each individually have their own stamina gauge. So you can just infinitely run forever. You just switch characters. Now, this might change in the future, but definitely be using this in your game. Look at this. Like, I'm just running around this fool forever and <laughs> it's just crazy right it's just crazy so definitely be using this and those are the five most important things that new players miss out on when they start out in snow break containment zone there are a bunch of stuff in this game that i did not cover as always if you're new here be sure to subscribe like the videos that helps me out a lot and for more snow break content i'll be covering this game definitely way more guides tips tier lists in the future for sure let me know in the comments below if you knew about these things or if there are anything else that you found out about but as always thumbs if you liked it subs if you loved it and i'll see you in the next one later